There are many form templates you can use that are called instant forms, wherein you select your table or query over here in the navigation pane that you want to base your form upon, then in a single click, boom, you have an instant form. That's the good news. The bad news is that instant forms don't allow much in the way of customizing the layout. Well, you can, but it takes a little effort, unlike creating a form from scratch in the design view. But if you're in a hurry and you don't care much about the layout, um, then here we go. Let's go ahead and I'm going to select this table that I want to create an instant form or base that instant form upon that table and come up here, click on create, go to the forms group, and let's do it right here. When I hover over the form feature or the command, you can see in the pop-up, it'll create a form that lets you enter in information for one record at a time. Click on it, boom, there you go. Okay, let's go ahead and work from top to bottom. First off, the name of the form, it's got the generic name or the name of the table that this form is based upon. The form hasn't been saved yet, so to change it, if you just click on save, it forces a save as. You can keep the same name and click OK, but the three that are prefix, TBL, it's not a table, let's change it to FRM for form, and then give it a name after it. If I kept the same name and clicked OK, I'd overwrite this one right here, but eh, I'm not going to save it. I'll just go through the form with you here. You got the title of the form, and when it comes to editing the labels, like the title here, or other labels here, or rearranging the fields around, we'll cover all that in a later training video. The purpose of this training video is that, hey, I got to hurry and create a form from scratch, something that's simple and easy. Well, this is one of them. And so you can see down below, we've got a list of all the fields that this form is based upon, which is coming from the customer's table. But then in addition to those fields there, we've got some other fields that's not from that table. Where is it coming from? Well, it looks like the orders table. Hey, why is it doing that? Well, this is what the form does, and how does it know to do that? Do you recall in that subdata sheet training video that when you start creating relationships in a one-to-many relationship, you open up the table that is the one relationship to another table that's many? Well, like the customers table here, good example, double-click customers, that it adds a little plus sign over to the left-hand side for each record that when you click on it to expand it, it opens up the sub data sheet. So you have the main data sheet, that's the sub data sheet, and the customer here is one customer, a unique customer because they can't have the same names, we've got to keep them organized, one to many. Hopefully they have many orders, so that's the one to many relationship. And it's pretty cool here because if Ghost Hunters gives me a call right now, I can look at their orders and look it up or even add a new order, and it's no different here. That's what it did. So you've got your customers and the one to many relationships or many orders that each customer can have. In fact, let me go ahead and scroll down because we should have, there we go, two navigation record bars. So you have the main record, which is the outer, and then you have the any. So when you have the main form and you've got another one that's been inserted, that's known as the sub form. So if I want to go ahead and move around from the customers, one customer to the next, we use the outer navigation bar and oh look at that home builders they got a lot of orders and if I want to navigate around within the sub form of course I can use the mouse or you can use the record navigation bar and you can see it advances one record at a time cool and so that's how that works now not to go into too much detail but as I was saying when it comes to instant forms they're hard to work with as far as the layout goes because the layout that you're looking at here, well, that's stacked, and this is tabular. Well, you got the columns like a data sheet. So if you want to be able to go ahead and rearrange these or move them around or resize them, well, if you go ahead and select one of the fields, and any time you see it outlined in orange, that lets me know that I'm in the layout view. So for the layout, when I hover over it, I can click and drag it around. I'll put it there, and okay, it doesn't. You see, that's annoying. It doesn't allow much flexibility. Let me hit undo. But if I hover over the middle left-hand side until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions, click and drag, I can resize it. Let me hit undo. But if you really want to be able to make changes to the layout, well, this is what you got to do. Let's go ahead and right-click on the tab. Another way to know that you're in the layout view is when you right-click, you can see that that icon, let me move out of the way, is highlighted as opposed to the form view which you can click in any field you can't change the layout or the design of it you're just editing or adding records or even deleting them just working with your data here so if I go ahead and find a blank area somewhere up here and right click I can change it 
you know, as opposed to coming up here on the tab. And go back to the layout, you get the orange. And look up here in the upper left hand corner, you see that little tag? If you watch my word training videos on tables, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Because when you click on it, it selects all the cells that make up a table. And all these cells make up that table, they're all grouped together. So if you want to be able to work these cells independently and not collectively because they're all bound into the table, then we need to change views by right clicking on the tab, going to the design view. Now I know this is probably really advanced, but I'm trying to get to a point here that when you go with instant forms, what you see is what you get. You want to make changes to it, it gets a little bit tricksy. So let me come down below in the detail here and click on one of the fields. Then I get the tag, click on the tag. Then I want to come up here, click on the Arrange tab, go to the Table Group, and you've got your two layouts, and then finally you can remove the layout. So the layout you're looking at here is stacked. Tabular is what you see, like, you know, when you open up the table or a query, where it's got in column format. Let me close out. And then the other option, let me go back to Arrange, is to remove it. When I remove it, then I click out and deselect all of it. Then I can go ahead and click on the label or the text box that stores the data. And I get that little gray box. When I hover over it, I get a four-way arrow. I can click and drag and move that around independently and not have it messed up and working with the group. Because once you're bound into a table and you don't remove that layout, it gets messy as I just showed you before we came over here and remove that layout. So like I said, we'll cover that in a later training video, but that's to give you a heads up that it can be done. Just that we need to go a little bit more in depth in training here. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And that's that form and say, no, I don't want to save changes. And let's create another instant form based upon the same table. Come up here, click on create, go to the forms group. Let's do a blank form. So this will create a blank form, but it'll have a list of fields that you can add to that blank form. Click on it. It's blank. And then there's the field list. If you don't see the field list, let's close out. Then come up here on the design tab, go to the tools group and say you want to add existing fields. Fields from what? Well, by default, since we have the customer's table selected, it opens it up. But if we didn't have it, you can close it and open up something else. But let's go back to the customers. This has a list of all the tables within my database here and their fields. And well, let me collapse that. And so if I want the customer name, just click and drag it there. And then we can do the address and then the city and state. And so you see what it's doing? it's doing in stack format. That's the layout. And so that's what you're stuck with here. But if you need something quick, you don't mind the layout, you're good to go. Remember, if you want to work with the layout, change it. You got that little tag here that selects all the cells that, well, you'd have to change it from the layout view because it's not available on the arrange tab to remove the layout. You can change the way it's, you know, laid out from stack to tabular, but let's right click and go to the design view and then click on one here, click on the tag, and then arrange, and then you can remove the layout, and then you get the freedom, oh freedom. You can go ahead and select the label or the text box field where it contains the data, and then just, you know, click and drag that little gray box so you can move it independently. Okay, let's go ahead and close out of that, close out of that, not save that, and it's still selected, the customer's table. Let's come back up here, click the Create tab, go to the Forms group, Let's do more forms. Hey, and let's do the splits. And you can see in the pop-up, you can create a split that shows the data sheet in the upper section and in the lower half of the section, the information about the records selected in the data sheet. Basically, you're going to be looking at the data sheet up above and in the bottom section, tabular format. Click on it. There you go. So you see we got it in column format, tabular. And then up above, you can see all the fields in one view because down below you can't see, let's see over here, what is that, facts? Well, it's right there, cool. So that makes it nice, you can focus on one record at a time, but if you need to look at all the other records because you're like, okay, that's right, Home Builders also is in the same state as Star Temps. So you can see both, where up here you'd have to well, navigate over and try to remember and then navigate back. But down here you can see a few records before and a few records after, depending upon where you're at. And then up here, see all the fields for that single record. Cool. And then you can see you got the little tags. So if you want to rearrange those fields, break them out of that layout, remove the layout. We'll cover that in a later training video. Let's close out of here, not save it. And we got customer tables still selected. And click on the Create tab. And let's go to More Forms. Click on that. Multiple items. 
In the pop-up, it says create a form that shows multiple records at once. Click on it, and there you go. And if you want to be able to resize that, because, wow, those rows look pretty stretched or really high. In any case, you got your tag. That If you want to go ahead and remove the layout, there you go. Let's close out of that. That's what that looks like. No, we won't save it. And then finally, let's come up here, click on the Create tab, and let's do Forms in Design. Click on it, and you get a grid. You're in the Design view. Now, to be able to pull the fields over into the form that this form is based upon, the Customers table, let's come up here, click on the Design tab, go to the Tools group, click on Add Existing Fields, brings up the field list, it has a list of all the tables, by default, it opens up the customer's table because that's what we had selected when we clicked on create form by design. And then over here, well, just go ahead and select a field that you want to add to it. Click and drag. It adds the label for the field and the corresponding text box or the box that contains the data therein. So with the label, you'll know what you're looking at, the customer ID. So when I click on the view button, without that label, I'll be like, what the fudge is that? Let's go ahead and right click, go back to the design view. And so you drag all your fields onto the grid here. And you could go ahead and click and drag and move them around, align them however you'd like. And we'll talk about that in a later training video. But here you go. Instant forms, we need something from scratch. Albeit creating a form by design isn't as instant as the others, but it could be. If you don't mind, let me hold down the shift key and select that field and delete it. Just by selecting one, holding down shift key and selecting the last one, or selecting one, holding down the control key and just selecting what you want. But let's go from the beginning, hold down the shift key, select the last field, click and drag. And there you go. Click on the view button. That's kind of instant, isn't it? Well, I'll show you how you can clean it up, edit the fields, text boxes in some later training videos. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.